Rocky Wreck, and today I'm with Chappelle's Towing, and we get to look at big, huge tow trucks. I'm so excited! Come on! Wowie! You see these two pink tow trucks? Oh man, they're really pretty, aren't they? Tow trucks are used to help vehicles get off the side of the road and back to a safe place to get fixed if they get broken down or in a car accident. So we get to look at tow trucks today and I'm really excited. Come on. Look at this. This is like a big semi truck kind of. I bet it could have pulled a really heavy load, huh? Wow. This right here is a fuel tank and this holds 50 gallons of diesel. That's a lot. And right here is the flatbed. You see how big this is? This could pick up a huge truck if it was broken down wood, couldn't it? <laughs> and right here is a winch. And this is what connects this cable right here to the car to pull it onto this flatbed. Woo! Oh boy, check it in here. Wow, so we've got some chains, some cleaning supplies, a broom. Oh boy, a first aid kit in case we need that. Lots of helpful tools in this tow truck. All right, and right here we've got these big straps. Each strap, there's four points and they can connect to each part of the tire. There's four tires on a vehicle most of the time. Pretty cool. Whoa, look at right here. This is the control panel. There's one on both sides. Oh boy, this controls the bed and the winch. Pretty sweet, huh? Whoa. And check this out. This is the wheel lift. You can put this under the front tires, lift it up, and then the winch can drag the car onto the back of the flatbed. Oh boy, that's really sweet. Oh, here's the other control panel that I mentioned. Whoa! This tow truck has a bunch of lights on it. These light up to let the cars around them know that there's someone in need and they're on their way to help. Oh, look at this. This right here is a tire changing kit for cars that need a tire change if they've got a flat tire or something on the side of the road. They've got jumper cables here in case they got to jump start the battery of a car. Oh wow. And look at this. If there's a car that needs to get some metal cut, these are bolt cutters and this can break through a chain. These are really, really strong. Wow. And this right here is the air air tube to help put air into the tires once you've got a new tire on there. Wow, are you ready to see inside of it? Oh boy! Whoa, wait, look how big this thing is. Come on in. Wow, there's a lot of room in here. You know why there's a lot of room? What if you're with your family and your car breaks down and you've got siblings or something that also need a ride. Everyone can fit in here. That's really cool, isn't it? Oh boy, this is a big truck. Whoa, check out all these controls right here. Oh boy, those are the controls to help move this thing around. And up here we have a radio. Oh boy, how do we get that off? Hey, uh, I'm on my way to save the day. You can count on me. <laughs> oh wow. Well, before we start this up, let's go check out the other truck. Come on. Wow, look at this big tow truck. This is a wheel lift auto loader tow truck. Come on over here. It's called a wheel lift because this part right here only lifts the front part of the tire so it can just drag the rest of the car. Isn't that really cool? Whoa. Hey, should we see this thing in action? So this is my friend Dan. Hello. <laughs> wow, so he's gonna start it up and show us how this thing works. All right, Dan. Whoa, that's a big truck. <laughs> All right, Dan, so how do we lower this thing down in case of, uh, you know, needing to tow a car or something? Okay, well, we got six different oh. controls here. We have the up and down, or for the, or the oh. for the winch. You wanna lower it first. Go along and hit the ground. Oh, wow. We'll tilt it down. Before it hits the car, we don't want to damage any cars. It's already damaged, we're trying not to do any more damage. Continue going down. Then we extend it out to it hits the wheels. And once oh. it hits the wheels, 
Sure is a lot of fun learning about tow trucks with you, but I'm sorry your car broke down. Whoa! so the tires are straight, so it keeps going right up the ramp. Oh boy, and now he's gonna fasten some straps around each tire so we know that we're not gonna just lose the van off the back of this truck. That would not be good.
now Dan's gonna unstrap all the straps except one just for safety. Lower the flatbed down to the road and let the van slowly off. Oh boy, this sure is cool, isn't it? Now we're gonna lower it. Here's the winch, here's the cable, letting you go. So now Dan just put it in park so it won't roll away and he's unhooking the last straps and we've just done it. <gasps> wow, wait. like this. Look at these little track loaders. 
all these little machines still have big jobs too, you know. Wow! Look at these huge tires! It comes all the way up to my shoulder. You know what we should do? We should see if we can find the biggest tire here at the log show. This one comes almost all the way up to the top of my bow. That's a really big tire. This is a log stacking competition. He's got to grab these logs and stack them on top of each other in order. One, two, three, four, five. So let's see if he can do it and how fast he can do it. That's three. Let me tell you about a truck, it's a great big deal, it's got 18, 18 tires, tires and 18, 18 wheels. wheels. It travels across the country, only stops for meals, there's a semi-truck on the run. Semi-truck, semi-semi-semi-semi-truck, semi-truck, semi-semi-semi-semi-truck, semi-truck. Wow, well, I sure love semi-trucks. Check out this trailer that attaches to the back of the semi-truck to haul all the big machines that we were looking at. wonder where your goods come from. Like your fruit and your toes and your shoes. There's a semi-truck hauling it all the time. There's a semi-truck on the run. Semi-truck. Semi, 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 semi-truck. And if you look at the back, it says oversized load. Semi, semi, semi-truck. Semi-truck. Semi, 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 semi-truck. Whoa, here's some more big tires. These ones go on semi-trucks. They're about up to my elbow. Whoa, look at the size of this tire. I could probably fit right through that. Semi-trucks, they're moving fast. Semi-trucks using diesel and not gas. Oh, wait, that's like a cool Ford or something. On a long, long drive. I get so excited when that semi-truck arrives. Semi-trucks, semi, 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 semi-trucks. 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 Look at this tiny little front loader. You want to get in it? And this little 
tiny book. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> oh boy. This is like a toy, but I'm sure it's really helpful digging little ditches or holes around your house. Oh, look at this big machine and the size of this tire. I don't know, this might win our tire competition. It's pretty big. <laughs> this big machine is called a grapple skitter. <laughs> Whoa, look how long the arm of this log loader is. Oh boy. I could like camp out in here. <laughs> wow, we sure is a lot of big heavy equip equipment for logging. Look at this big bucket. It's full of water. I was gonna climb in there, but I don't want to get all wet. <laughs> Look at the tracks on this processor. Tracks help you just grab the ground. If tires can't, they'll be slipping all over the place. Tracks just dig into the dirt. <laughs> Isn't that so sweet? <laughs> Logs are used to build houses, art, keeps places warm. <laughs> There's lots of different uses for logs and logging heavily forested areas helps cut down on fueling forest fires. <laughs> Well, hey, thanks a lot for learning about logging with me at the Oregon Logging Show here in Eugene, Oregon. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Recky Breck. Now it's time to learn with Brecky Breck. Hey, it's me, Brecky Breck. And today, we're with Clark County Public Works, and we get to look at a street sweeper. Here, this is a street sweeper, and a street sweeper goes along the side of a road and picks up all the debris like these old leaves. It keeps the road safe and it keeps drains clear so that water can filter right to the drain. Look at that! There's a storm drain right there! <laughs> oh boy! Are you guys ready to learn more about street sweepers? Oh wow! Look at this! Wow! This right here, these are brooms. There's one on this side and one over there. Ooh, boy. These brooms, they turn in a circle and they loosen up all the debris as it goes along. <laughs> Whoa. They, they sweep everything to the center so it can go down to under this right here, which is the vacuum. This side, this big tube, sucks up all the debris. And on the other side, there's another one of these, but it pumps the air down to push the debris over to this side to be sucked up. Wow, that's pretty neat. Oh boy, look at this big, big tank. It can hold all the debris and it holds up to six yards of debris. Should we look at the nasty debris in there real quick? Oh, I don't know if you can see in there too well. That's a lot of wet leaves and stuff. Wow. Oh boy. And look at over here. This right here is a big hose and you can unload all the water because sometimes this will fill up with water and debris. So before you can dump all the leaves out, you want to drain the water. Hey, look at over here. This is that other hose I was talking about that pushes the air down to keep all the debris going that direction. So you'll notice that this side of the street sweeper is a little bit dirty than the other side. <laughs> Whoa. And the other broom, of course. That's pretty cool. Hey, look at right here. These are hydraulics and they pump oil to all the different moving parts of the machine. <laughs> oh boy. And look, this is a water tank. This holds 300 gallons of water and it supplies the brooms with water and follow me. Ooh, 
These are little sprinkler heads, and that tank supplies water for these sprinkler heads to keep the dust down while the street sweeper's picking up all the debris. Oh boy, I just love street sweepers. These are pretty cool machines. You want to look inside the cab with me? Oh boy! Wow! Well, first thing that I notice here is that the steering wheel is on this side of the vehicle, not the other side. That's because they're trying to stay really close to all the different curbs and walkways. Wow! Ooh, hey, let's jump in and look at it. Whoa! I feel so big up here! <laughs> hey, look at over here! This is a control panel, and it controls all the different parts of the street sweeper. This row controls all the water and where it's going to spray out of the street sweeper. And this row right here controls the brooms and the vacuums on the street sweeper. So, the operator of this big machine can just bloop, 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 press all the buttons. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Ooh, and of course you've got all your gauges. Oh, and a radio. Hey, uh, it's uh, Marvin over here, and I'm on uh, 15th and, uh, you know, 99th. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Wow, this is really cool. Oh, wow. Should we start it up? I want to hear what a street sweeper sounds like when it's on. We're going to start the rear motor first. You ready? Oh boy! Wow! And now it's time to start the engine of this machine. Look at over here! See this? This is a camera! And it's showing us where all the debris is and the curb too! So that should make sure that I don't run into anything while we go! <laughs> Woohoo! You want to take a ride with me? Come on! like 
clean streams. That's the mission of the street sweeper, is to keep all the streets clean so the water that drains off into the storm drain stays clean and doesn't have any debris in it. Well, thanks for watching and learning about street sweepers with me. I hope to see you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to go on more adventures with me. Bye bye! Excavator! <gasps> wow! Well, hi! I'm Brecky Breck, and today we're with Dan Tapney Excavating, and we're gonna look at excavators! Woo! They're so cool! Oh my goodness! I can't wait! Let's go! Come on! operator is. There are so many different plumbing, pipes, wires on a job site. He has to be really careful not to hit or ruin anything. Wow, look at him clear off his track. You notice how this piece of equipment doesn't have tires, it has tracks, because tracks can move across the dirt and not get stuck really easily. Oh boy. control the tracks and they make it move forward or back. And this right here, these are two joysticks. This one moves the boom up and down and in and out. 
and that one controls the bucket and the arm. Isn't that so neat? Wow, come on, let's sit up here and see what it looks like. Chick, I sure like excavators. Those things are so handy on a job site. And look how careful he's being, making sure he doesn't mess up the foundation or any of the plumbing. That's really cool. Washington, and we're gonna explore this big machine. Are you ready? Come on! Wowee! Do you see this? This right here is called the cab, and this is where the driver sits, obviously. And this right here is the box, and it can hold 25 tons. That's like six elephants. Isn't Crazy? Oh, wow. Next over here, look at all of these tires. These tires right here go down for extra support for the box when it's full of all that weight. That's a lot of weight for this big dump truck to hold. And this right here is the booster axle and it's extra support for the dump truck while it's driving down the road. This right here, these are called airbags and these are for the suspension. Isn't that cool? Let's check out the inside of this big box. Whoa! Look how big this thing is. Whoa! You guys, you gotta come see it. Come on! Whoa! Look at this thing! This is so big! I cannot believe people have figured out how to make this big thing hold so much weight. This is an incredible machine. Wow, are you ready to check out the inside of the cab? Come on, let's do it. Wow, we look at the inside of this cab. Oh my goodness, this is a big 
steering wheel. Whoa. And over here, we have the horn. Should I honk it? That was so loud. Oh my goodness. Well, look at this dashboard. We have all these different gauges to fi to figure out if we're how fast we're going, which is the speedometer. We've got the fuel levels, oils, brake compression. Wow, that's a lot of cool gadgets in this dump truck. Check it out up here. It's super cushy. Wow. Wowee, check this out. This right here is the radio. So if you're working with the crew or someone's falling behind, you say, breaker, breaker, coming in. You ready for me, Bobby? Okay, we'll be there in a little bit. <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. And this right here, this is the lever to dump the box. Do you want to see it in action? Oh boy, come on. Well, before we start this thing up, let's check out the engine. Oh boy. Look at this giant hood coat. Oh, you have to be super strong to pull it open. <laughs> Wowee! Check out the size of this engine. This is a 430 horsepower Cummins engine, baby. Wow, that is one powerful machine. Well, I think we're ready to hear it start. Let's do it.
sure was fun learning all about dump trucks with you today. Well, that's the end of this episode, but well, we'll see you next time. Thanks so much, CNJ Excavating, for letting me explore this dump truck. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>
That has a big scale in the bucket of it, so it can weigh exactly how much it's holding. Isn't that cool? been found in cars, washers and dryers from all over. Look at all these. That's a lot of money. After they've gathered all this money, they send it back to the U.S. Mint, which is where they make the, the United States currency, and it gets recycled. Thanks for joining me today at Pacific Coast Shredding here in Vancouver, Washington. I hope you had fun learning about a shredding facility. We'll see you next time. Bye! Becky Beck. Now it's time to learn with Brecky Breck. Hey! It's me, Brecky Breck, and today we're at Tech 
equipment in Portland, Oregon, and we're gonna look at big, huge, gigantic semi trucks. Are you ready? Come on, let's go. a Mack sleeper truck. It's a big semi that people use to carry products from one end of the country to the other. Oh my goodness, we have to get a closer look. Come on, let's go. Wow, check out the size of these tires. There are 10 tires on this truck. We have one right here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Because of the other one in the front. Wow, that's a lot of tires. And this doesn't even have the trailer attached to it yet. Look at right here. This is a big diesel tank. This holds the fuel to fuel this big semi truck. This tank can hold 125 gallons. And there's another one on the other side, and that side holds 150 gallons. <gasps> that is a lot of fuel. <laughs> wow. And look at this. This right here, yeah. That's called the fifth wheel, and that's where you attach the trailer to the back of the semi truck. Wow, you see these hoses right here? They attach to the trailer to help pump air to the brakes for air brakes. Isn't that neat? Let's go check out inside. Oh, wow, look at this door. It's right at my shoulder, like. <gasps> look at the big step up here, come on. Wow, we look at this. We're inside this Big Mac semi truck. Oh man, I feel so big. Whoa. We have the steering wheel, the gas pedal, and the brake pedal for the air brakes. We have the speedometer right here. Wow, this is for the RPMs. Look at all of this. Ooh, a parking brake, a trailer air supply. Whoa. Look at all these buttons. Wow, this is called a sleeper truck because when you're traveling from one end of the country to the other, you can get really tired as the driver of this big semi truck. So here's a bed so he can sleep. Oh, let's test it out. Oh, that's cozy. And guess what? There's another one up here that can fold down. Wow, and in here we have a closet so the truckers can store all their clothes and a mirror to look at them both. Hi, how are you doing today? <laughs> Over here, we have a refrigerator. <gasps> Ooh, so they can store some yummy food. Wow, you know what goes in here? A microwave in case they want to take along any food that they can warm up. <laughs> wow, and look, here are the curtains so you can shut this in case you want to keep all the light out. I gotta snap it off. Ooh, good night. Oh, it's a little bit stuck. Hey! <laughs> wow, and look at this. There's windows back here. There are so many different compartments in this big semi truck because when truckers are on the road, this kind of becomes their home. They've got to store all the things that they need. So they've got lots of compartments back here. And look how tall the ceiling is. Wow, wee. This is really cool. <laughs> wow, are you ready to start up this big semi truck? 
Okay, so in order to start it, we just turn the key like this. Oh, look at all those gauges. Then we press the button right here. Wowee! We just started this big semi truck. Hey, do you think we should honk the horn now? Look it up here, it's a big leather belt. You ready? <laughs> Wowee! That sure is fun. Wow! Listen to this engine! That is one powerful truck. These semi trucks are built to be so powerful that they never have to stop unless it's to get an oil change. Isn't that just crazy? Oh boy! This is a Mack truck! Look at that! <laughs> Hi, Poppy! Did you notice what color this truck is? It's red! I love the color red. Hey, come over here. I see two more over there. This big semi truck is the color blue. Wow! trucks. I just love semi trucks. Let's listen to the semi truck song. I love that song. Let me tell you about a truck. It's a great big deal. It's got 18, 18 tires, tires and 18, 18 wheels. wheels. It travels across the country, only stops for meals. There's a semi truck on the run. Semi truck. Semi, 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 semi truck. Semi truck. Semi, 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 semi truck. Did you ever stop to wonder where your goods come from? Like, like your fruit and your toes and your, and your chewing gum? gum? Well, there's a semi truck hauling it by the ton. There's a semi truck on the run. Semi truck, semi 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 truck. 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 You can see a truck when you're on a drive on 101, 101 or Interstate 5. 5. Catch them on the left, left going 65. 65. There's a semi truck on the run. my name, B-R-E-C-K-Y, B-R-E-C-K, 
or click the link down below, you can see all the fun places and things I love to explore. adventures. So I really hope your kids enjoy these adventures with me. I hope to see you in some of my other adventures. Bye-bye. <laughs>